Hey guys, welcome to Franklin Woodworks. I recently got a new Grizzly table saw and I absolutely love it. But there's something I don't like, and this applies to all table saws, and that is the blade insert. They make the slot for the blade really wide to accommodate a tilted blade. But when you're making a 90 degree cut, you're gonna get tear out and thin strips of wood are gonna fall down inside the table. On this saw, that's a big no-no because of a small hose that goes to the shroud around the blade. Small pieces can really plug this up, and even if they get through, it's not good for a dust collection system. To avoid all of the above, I need a zero clearance insert. Sure, I could go buy one for 33 bucks, or I could make several in a couple of hours, and I could have one for a standard blade, a thin kerf blade, and a dado stack. I could even have one for angled cuts, all for about 10 bucks. So I'll use half inch MDF. Half inch is the exact thickness of the stock insert, but it has to be adjusted using set screws because it sits just a little below the table. But just like the included insert, the one I'm gonna make will be adjustable. So I've already cut my MDF to rough size and I'll use double stick tape to attach the existing insert to the MDF. And I'll mark where the finger hole goes as well as the locations for the adjustment screws. Before we start drilling, I need to tell you that the best kind of double stick tape I've found is called grip tape. And it's what they use when they re-grip golf clubs. It's as thin as masking tape and really sticks well. And it's much cheaper than buying double stick tape at a woodworking store. I'll cut the new insert to size using a flush trim bit in my router table. I prefer this to using a handheld router because I have much more control over the workpiece knowing the router isn't going to move. It would have been better for me to cut off as much waste as possible with the bandsaw before I began this step, but I'm confident enough with the router that I can nibble away at the waste and maintain control of the workpiece. Just be careful not to bury the router bit in the waste as you're cutting. A good rule is not to go over half the width of the router bit. Next I go over to the drill press and using a Forstner bit I drill out the finger hole. Now don't forget this step or you won't be able to remove the insert from the table saw. Don't ask me how I know. Then I use a number 21 drill bit to drill the holes for the adjustment screws. This is the drill bit size you need to tap a hole for a 1024 set screw. Now, some of you may think that tapping MDF is ridiculous, but it works just fine. The screws are only used to adjust the height, so they don't take any stress to speak of. Trust me. Now to finish this off, I'll mount the insert in the table and using a straight edge, I'll adjust the new insert until it's perfectly flush with the table. Using a trick I learned from my buddy Zach at the Southern Ginger Workshop, and I'll leave a link to his outstanding YouTube channel in the description below, I'll tape down the insert over where I think the blade will protrude, and I'll use the fence as insurance just to make sure the insert stays in place as I raise the blade. With the saw running, I slowly raise the blade until I get the height I need. Now nothing but dust will fall into the table saw, and this will also really improve the dust collection. Now it's a good idea to give the insert a little protection from the elements. I like to use a good coat of shellac and finish it off with some paste wax. I think you'll find this is an easy project and a valuable improvement in performance to your table saw, no matter what kind you have. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And there you go.